Hey, what's up guys? Drew here over at Rough Hiker Outdoors and I want to talk to you about some new stuff uh, that has come out from Sawyer, specifically the S2 and their one gallon gravity system, so stick around. Alright, so first what I'm going to tackle is the one gallon uh, gravity system. Now, you know, in, in backpacking or, uh, you know, even for just being prepared at home or anything like that, um, you know, filters are really important. Water is really important. You don't last that long without water. So on the trail, I'm always looking for something that is going to filter my water quickly without a lot of hassle, and I don't want it to be heavy. There's some really great convenient filters that MSR makes and other companies the pump style, and they work great. I'm not taking anything away from them. But they are quite costly, and they're very heavy, and you have to replace like the ceramic filter in there relatively often compared to hollow membrane style filters. Now, that's what Sawyer has used for their one gallon system, okay? This is their one gallon gravity system. Now when you buy it in a kit, and let me just remind you guys, I have a new Amazon store, so there'll be a link in the description below if you guys want to check this stuff out. Uh, all of the Sawyer stuff is going to be in there with the exception of the S2, the, S, the S1, S2, and S3 because they haven't hit Amazon yet uh, as, as of the making of this video. But anyway, this is the one gallon system. You fill this up with water and you just let it hang or you let it sit on a rock and this dangles below. If you want to, you can just go from the filter straight onto here and use it that way. You don't have to fool around with this. This thing, if you already have a mini, because that's all it, it comes with, it comes with the mini if you buy the kit, then you just uh, then you can just buy this bag. And I think the bag is 15 bucks with uh, you know the caps and a couple different fittings and stuff. So really reasonable, especially if you own a squeeze or a mini, because this will work with any of Sawyer's other filters. If you want this to be like a dedicated system, then I think it's like 30, 40 bucks, 39 bucks maybe for the whole shebang. It gets you this, it gets you this, it gets you a bunch of different fittings, it gets you the flushing tools and cleaning stuff. Um, it gets you the adapters to uh, the cleaning adapters so you can clean and back flush with um, bottles and all different ends so you can attach this straight to bottles. So it's 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 really really good, um, highly recommended. I have loved Sawyer stuff for a long time. And for me, they hit this out of the park. When I did my Northville Placid hike, this thing would have been so clutch because getting water was like a constant pain in the rear, um, for me at least, because the, the filter I brought just plugged up so quick. Um, this gravity system would have been great for when we got to camp. Um, I've tried this thing out a few times and I was blown away by how fast it went. Now, of course, with any filter like this, they can slow down with a bunch of sediment. Um, but if your water is relatively clean, um, you know, not like total brown, silty water, the flow rate on this is phenomenal. I filled up two of the 64 ounce pouches from Sawyer, like stupid fast. St like, I think the first one took, well, after I unpinched the hose, uh, the first one took less than a minute. I mean, it, it was I was blown away by how fast it was. It was, it was r less than a minute. I didn't time it specifically, but I was really impressed. I hung this thing up and I started doing it, and I set up a couple things and I looked back, and the thing was was full. And I had to I had to like go and and I just pinched the line off and tied it like in a loose knot, and then I unscrewed and put the next 64 ounce bag on there and it filled, and this thing drained completely, like there was no water left in here. Uh, and then what I did to store it is I just took the hose off the bottom, and I believe I took, actually I think I just took this off, and I just let it kind of air dry. I hung it in a in a way so that this was facing down and any little drops of water that was in there could come out. Um, and I just let it sit. There's no stink, no, no mold, no nothing. And if, if, uh, if you are gonna be storing it though, they have directions right on here. You basically clean it with a couple drops of bleach. You fill it with a certain amount of water, put some bleach in there, you leave it for a couple minutes. Uh, and then, you know, it says, um, 
Fill the bladder with clean water and add one small cap full of household bleach. Let sit for several minutes, drain and let air dry. So that's it. Really cleaning, uh, really simple cleaning. And the cap for filling it is massive. You know, it's probably, I'd say two and a half inches wide uh, or, you know, right thereabouts. And it, it was just really nice. The handle uh, is somewhat convenient for hanging it. Um, the, my only gripe with hanging it is that the handle's on this side, so it kind of tends to want to hang like this. Um, so you just kind of got to prop it against something to get it to lay perfectly straight. Uh, but anyway, this thing is amazing. Only four and a half ounces, okay? So if you have your two ounce Sawyer Mini and this, and you really want to go minimalist, you can just put your filter directly on here with the coupler, okay? And bang, like you've, you've got it, you're, you're done. Um, so for like six and a half, under, under seven ounces, I'll say, um, you've got one gallon like filtering stupid fast and you can just set it up to where it dumps directly into a bottle. Like I said, I used the bladders and I, I'll show you how I coupled it actually. Um, I just hooked these up really easy, filled the bag and then with the coupler that it came with, I just hooked it right up to the 64 ouncer. Um, and that was it. Then I hung this thing up and it drained stupid fast. I, I was blown away. Um, for me, Sawyer knocked it out of the park with this. And if I'm ever, I mean, bushcrafting, absolutely. Um, backpacking with more than just me, this is absolutely coming. This is, this is a sacrifice in weight and bulk that I will definitely make. Um, you know, like I said, when I did the Northville Placid Trail, I like fought to get water the whole time and I'll never do it again. So it's either going to be this in the mini or <clears throat> if I'm going solo, excuse me, I will be bringing my squeeze with me. Got a squeeze in. Um, ke uh, one of the guys, Bryant, on the Northville Placid Trail had this and this, it, his was bomber. I couldn't believe how fast uh, the flow rate was. The flow rate on this is stupid. Uh, even compared to the Mini, it's just miles better. So, anyway guys, that is the, um, that is the one gallon. Uh, now, let's go on to the S2. And I know, uh, I want this to kind of be like a filter solution video. It's not just a review of one. I'm going to do a couple <clears throat> miniature reviews and tell you about some of the new stuff Sawyer's got. So, anyway. Um, S2. That's kind of weird. Um, this thing is really weird. Uh, totally not anything that I expected. Um, it's very different. I mean, this bottle is very flexible, but it's still stiff. It's a, it's like a silicone bottle, and I'm getting a phone call. How much you want to bet it's my wife? I'll bet you it. it's my wife. I'll catch you guys in a minute. i got to answer my queen. Hey, babe. I'm making a YouTube video. You're on it right now. <laughs> Talk to you later. All right, guys. Hey, got to answer that one. Um, so this is the S2. Here's what's cool about this, and let me just show you. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if this was necessarily for backpacking for me, because um, it is it is a bit heavy, and the the bottle's a bit different. And this is filled with foam. Okay, this whole thing. I don't know if you can see it's it's clearer up here and it's darker down here is because. This thing is filled with foam, and you, when you fill this, you fill it right to the top of the foam. And inside the foam, there's some stuff that you can feel when you really pinch it hard. Um, and they've got something in there, whether it's charcoal or I, I'm not exactly sure everything that's in there. Um, but you fill this thing up, you squeeze it back and forth like this to slosh the water around for 10 seconds, and then you drink it. Now this is the micro squeeze on top. It's the same hollow membrane fiber that the mini and that the full size squeeze is, but it's just super small. Uh, and it has very good flow as well. And you can kind of squeeze on this bottle. This can be back flush just like the rest. When I stored this, I took the micro squeeze off and I squeezed this out as much as I could. I reefed on it to get as much water out of that foam as I could. And I stored it upside down um, because I like I get really worried about mold and stuff growing in places that skeeves me out big time so I made sure that this could air dry I did not store it with the filter on top um, I stored it with this now you could even if you really wanted to you can take this off okay and you could take the little 
um, like pre-filter screen out of there which basically just gives this rigidity to screw this top on um, and you could you could do it like this but I had no problems with leaving uh, the plastic cap on the top I had no problems with mold and it's been a week and a half or more um, that I have let this sit to see you know no mold smells it smells exactly the same as when I opened it which is not maybe not what you expect there is an odor it's not it's not unpleasant it's just I'm not sure what it is but anyway enough rambling crap seriously this thing is good for 800 uses which according to them puts it at about nine cents per fill up uh, it holds 20 ounces you fill it right there's a little line on this silicone tells you everything that you got to do right on the side this is the s2 I don't have the s1 or the s3 the s1 gets 1600 uses the s2 gets 800 uses and the s3 gets 400 uses but they have different things that they take care of and I'll put a link to Sawyer's website and you'll be able to check all the extreme specs out and you know if you want to geek out on specs <clears throat> but let me tell you about the S2 because it's the one that I've used and that I've tried um, this removes bacteria protozoa chemicals pests okay so we all know what the hollow main hollow membrane filters take out you know they make, basically make it so you don't get beaver fever so you don't get the the Hershey squirts or the trots or the runs whatever you want to call it, it takes out that stuff that's gonna make you feeling sick okay this also removes the chemicals pesticides and something that's big for a lot of people that I've spoken to viruses okay this removes viruses which I thought was very cool um, <clears throat> because normally you don't get that in your average filter uh, so like I said this has 800 uses um, and um, it takes out viruses pesticides chemicals now the s3 one thing I will mention about that is that it takes care of heavy metals as well and one other thing I can't can't quite remember uh, but like I said I'll put links below so you can check that out so for international travel and, and different different locales that might be something that you're really concerned with um, so they they do filter those out for hiking I don't necessarily see myself taking this hiking unless I'm in a place where these things are a concern okay um, I, I'm taking a trip to India next year this might be something I would take just because I really don't feel like getting really sick off the water over there okay um, so I, I think Sawyer really knocked it out of the park as far as what they do they are pricey okay and the the use on them is somewhat limited I mean you get 20 ounces 800 times and that's quite a lot of water it's not what their hollow main uh, hollow membrane filters are but it's still pretty good it's still a good amount of water um, so anyway uh, it is a bit different to use I found the best way is I just squeezed it when I was drinking out of it and it comes with the pop cap um, and just give it a good squeeze and it comes through relatively easily um, it's about the same flow as like a Sawyer Mini so pretty it's not quite what the squeeze is obviously um, but this does help because you can use both hands to kind of squeeze it and get it through a little quicker um, for me this is more of a preparedness item uh, people that are into prepping or if you live in an area where there's chemical manufacturing and there's like a scare of a spill and you want clean water it's gonna be free of heavy metals and viruses and all that stuff or disaster situation this is a very good thing to have they're a bit pricey this is I believe is 89 the other one's 79 uh, and I think the s3 might be 99 I'm, I'm not positive I, I will like I said I'll put all the links so you can check all that stuff out specifically but um, anyway I was I was really happy with this stuff um, that I got from Sawyer I think the one gallon bag is awesome I could totally see this being used like in a family situation uh, for emergency preparedness a hiking situation with a with a large group or you know even car camping where the water tastes nasty or something like that the thing is perfect you can filter a bunch for uh, cooking if it's not gonna you know if you want to like wash stuff um, without contaminated water this thing is phenomenal for that kind of stuff 
<clears throat> really, really happy with it. And the kits come with a lot of really useful stuff. Um, the uh, you know the gallon bag comes with like its own mesh thing, so you can store everything in there and hang it right on the outside of your pack. And like I said, the full kit is under eight ounces, so it's, it wouldn't be anything to hang off the back of your pack. You get a couple of the 64 ounce bags. You get the smaller bags. You get you know when you get the kits with sort of they throw a ton of stuff in now, and uh, just really convenient. A bunch of different cleaning collars. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to introduce you to some of the new stuff that Sawyer came out with. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Please check out my Amazon store uh, since YouTube has decided to demonetize a ton of my videos because they're jerks. Uh, but the Amazon store will help support the channel. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. God bless you guys as always, and I will catch you next time.